Friend, friend, I thought I'd done this video before, but I got a request to do a video on some of my favorite vanillas. So you should just see all of the stuff I have in front of me because all of my vanillas, baby, are my favorites. Let's get into it. So if you guys watch my combos, you're going to pretty much already know the ones that I have that I am in love with. But there are people who are new who haven't been watching me or who are watching this video that may not be familiar. So I just want to get into it. The first set that I cannot be without, and this is Bum Dia Bright as well as Charles number 40. This is a plum scented vanilla. That's what it is. It's gorgeous. It's giving. I love it. Y'all see the big bottle. I wore this today. I mean... I cannot get enough of this. It is so pretty. If you're looking for an, it's almost um, intoxicating, exotic vanilla that is super duper sweet. And it has a plum element. So a lot of people don't like plum. If you don't like plum, you probably won't like this one. But it's the sweetest of the plum fragrances. And that's Bum Dia Bright and Charosa number 40. Such a pretty vanilla violet and vanilla if you don't like violet you will not like this because it's very violet forward but to me it's so soft it's mostly vanilla with a hint of violet and this is the drench delicia drench as well as charosa number 59 victoria's secret also does some vanilla really good bare vanilla as well as bare vanilla candied love both of these especially the candy version y'all see i'm getting a little dent as much as i wear bath and body works i'm into these oh this candy version girl it's just got a little marshmallow in there it has this one has some cashmere and vanilla very vanilla forward very pretty if you're looking for a good vanilla that's different from bath and body works these are your two it's from Pink, and this is the Warm and Cozy, and this has a uh, soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. It's really, really pretty, and it just gives that vibe of warm and cozy, like it says. The hint of fruit with the vanilla and the coconut makes it a little bit unique to me. I love this one. Love pairing it. You already see the dent in her. I love it. Got one more that I want to talk about before I get into my Bath and Body Works, and that is going to be the Enchanted Vanilla Woods. Now, this is from Dirty Soul Soap Company, and this is a duplicate of um, is it Wicked Vanilla Woods? That's what it is. This smells so good, y'all. This vanilla right here. Oh, okay, so it has magical vanilla, amber woods, enchanted pink pepper. So I guess it's the pink pepper with the vanilla that makes it very different. It's just really, really good. I love this. Really, really sweet. Um, like I said, this is from Dirty Soul Soap Company where they make duplicates of fragrances that we all love that we can't pull back from Bath & Body Works. If you didn't get a chance to get it, I do recommend that you try this one. It's Enchanted Vanilla Woods, and this is from Dirty Soul Soap. Okay, so here's another vanilla you don't see me talk about much, but this is whipped rose and vanilla. This one is really good. It's a vanilla with rose, a hint of rose, and it is so pretty. I love wearing this one. See, I have a nice little dent in it. It's very pretty. I'm going to have to start doing more combos with this one because it's a good one. This is whipped rose and vanilla. Okay, so whipped coconut milkshake. This one is so good to me. Okay, so it's supposed to smell like vanilla ice cream, but it's so sweet. It's like a toasted coconut vanilla ice cream, and it is oh so good. I tried to get duplicates of this from SAS. Girl, it wasn't out there. They had the lotion. They had, I think they had the body wash, but this was not out there. And as far as vanillas, this is the body wash. Is another one of my favorite vanillas. This body wash to me, it is so sweet. Y'all see, I use it for a lot of my combos because it's really, really good. I love it. I have the lotion. It's just a good, good mix. And that is whipped coconut milkshake. Wrapped in vanilla, this 
Body Mist is my absolute favorite of the vanillas, okay? It's, it's just so good. It's gourmand. It lasts. It's very pretty. It's definitely worth everything I went through to get it because I didn't get it first time around. I had to go through Amazon to get it. So this has notes of sal vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly cream. I believe it's that chantilly cream girl that just gets me. It is so good. I do need to order the body cream or the body lotion or something to go with this because I don't have it. But this is amazing. And y'all, I use it all the time. But look, I, I'm so sparingly with it. And it really doesn't take much to just, as a topper, to just get my combo where I need it to be. And that's Racket Vanilla. Combo right here. The body wash as well as the um and the lotion too i have the lotion the body wash i have a, the whole thing you guys this is so good i almost actually i got vanilla cozy vanilla bourbon before i bought this i bought cozy vanilla bourbon first and i just saw everybody talking about this and i'm like let me go back and hit that up but girl this is beautiful the floral is so soft, but the vanilla, just the combination, this is combined beautifully. This is a beautiful, beautiful vanilla. If you're looking for something with a little floral hint to it, try Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. I don't think you're going to regret it. See, this bottle of Vanilla Bean Noel, you got the vanilla down right. This one is oh so luscious to me okay like a warm vanilla bean it's warm it's cozy it's sweet it's luscious it's just really pretty this year this packaging they got it right now i have another one from the previous year i still like it i'm still using it i just wanted to show you guys this bottle particularly because it's actually better than last year's snowflakes and cashmere is another good vanilla fragrance okay so i know it says snowflakes and cashmere but it's full of vanilla the first listed is vanilla cashmere cream and you can really tell that the vanilla is heavily in there this is so pretty it's such a good good fragrance mist you guys it's good for layering it's good for wearing alone beautiful snowflakes and cashmere the next up, I want to talk about warm vanilla sugar. This is a good one, although it's not my favorite of the ones listed. This is still a good one, and they do offer this still, okay? Why they don't offer wrapped in vanilla, but they offer this one, I don't know. But anyway, it is what it is. So this warm vanilla sugar, it has jasmine. Um, it's like a floral vanilla, and it's not as sweet as it is floral in my opinion but it is vanilla it's just different okay so i do find it useful for some combos especially with combos with jasmine in it uh, so any white florals uh jasmine this would be a pretty combo for sweetening although it is not super sweet so um i do have a couple of others i want to mention dream bright uh, this is a good body wash to me, as well as the body mist. I wear the body mist a lot too. But, um, and this has, this is a vanilla. It's a crystallized vanilla, although it has a lot of berries and some other things in it. Uh, vanilla is at the base note of this. So, I don't know. It was kind of hard for me to decide where to draw the line on the vanillas because almost everything has vanilla in it. But I wanted something that basically is a vanilla, okay? So that's basically where I drew the line. Now, this sweet cream, if you're looking for a good, sweet body cream, this whipped shea butter um, vanilla sweet cream is just like, oh, it is so sweet. It's almost like icing. It's like a vanilla icing. So good, you guys. So good delicious love 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 it another thing you guys this vanilla bean noel i don't know if you've noticed or not but to me it gives eos the vanilla cashmere lotion to me they're almost just the same just try it but the eos is almost just like vanilla bean noel so if you have this it's almost just like eos lotion like the purple EOS lotion. I used mine up. I was going to buy some more, but this is, it smells just like it to me. 
y'all have to let me know what you think friend now let's talk about uh this perfume that i got by indulgent moments and this is cashmere and vanilla this is one that i love to use as a enhancer or a topper um just beautiful beautiful scent so pretty so inexpensive from tj maxx i bought it for 14.99 and this is a good good vanilla with added cashmere and it is so pretty Next up, you guys, is my Billie Eilish, and this is my Spicy Vanilla Cacao Fragrance, and it is everything. I mean, I don't like my dent. You can see. Can you see my dent? Yeah, I'm not liking that, girl. I'm a definitely at the bare bottle of this one. This is so, so pretty. I can wear it all the time, everywhere, and it's just so beautiful. Now, Finery Sweet on the outside, this is supposed to be the duplicate of this, and it is really good. It doesn't last as long, and to me, it doesn't have the heaviest of a spice. It's not as spicy as my Billie Eilish. It's good. It's good. It's very close. It's not I would I say it was exact dupe. No, but it's good. It's a good one. I lost my top. It's a good one. I wouldn't say it's exact dupe. I like to use this for more layering. And I like to use my Billie Eilish as my main perfume. Mm-hmm. It's good. Devotion. This perfume right here is so lovely. Okay. Whew, girl. It gives like an orange creamsicle vanilla. Vanilla with an orange sickle. Vanilla with a lemon of Zesty citrus oh, vanilla cream, so good. This is by Dolce Gabbana, and this is Devotion. I'll say by Rosie Jane gives me straight up vanilla. It is so pretty. It does have some chocolate in it, but it is such a pretty gourmand vanilla. For all of my gourmand, um, for all of my gourmand combos, I like to use this one. It just really amps up that vanilla. It is super, super duper sweet vanilla. Very soft, very laid back. I got some vanillas that are kind of bite, but this one is super smooth. They're very goddess. This is another good one to me. I love layering this one because it will sweeten any fragrance without changing the, the scent of it. Okay, it still will have the ascent of the original perfume, but just sweeter. I love this for that. It is so good. And this has a little bit of lavender in it. It's lavender forward. So pretty. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And this is Burberry Goddess. Another one that I love is Silver Moon. This is my almond vanilla perfume. I love it. It's so good. It's so pretty. I love the almond in it. I really like it for the winter time. Oh, y'all, it's so pretty. If you can just lay your nose on this by Pacifica, and this is supposed to be a pretty clean one. It's supposed to be very clean as far as, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think, I don't want to quote, but I don't think it has parabens or anything like that because Pacifica is a clean brand. And I do think that the perfumes are the same way so very inexpensive around thirty dollars and this is silver moon and it's a vanilla almond scent it's gorgeous and we all know about kali this is vanilla number 28 this my bottle is getting sweeter and sweeter y'all I, I mean it really has it's gotten sweeter since i've had it for about a year now oh girl you know what I got it sitting next to my commodity milk. This is new to me. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Vanilla 28 is definitely sweeter. But something is giving similar vibes. <laughs> Yeah, something's giving similar vibes, but different. This is definitely sweeter, you guys. This is definitely sweeter with the brown sugar. Um, now, Commodity Milk, it does have some marshmallow in there. It is so good. 
both of these are divine but you know what i'm gonna have to pull out my kalia a little bit more because girl she's cutting up over here and this is my commodity milk both of these all of these are fabulous y'all if you're looking for some good good vanillas these are some good ones for you okay I really want to try some new things, so that's why I'm on a mission to kind of just enjoy my fragrances more, to explore them more, to use them daily, to just really get to know them so I can venture out. So that's going to be it for my vanilla video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please drop me some comments down below. Let me know what are some of your favorite vanillas, what are some of your favorite scents. And make sure you subscribe, share, and like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.